Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Daryl Wilson. Today in this video, I'll be giving you guys an in-depth review on the Avada theme. As you guys know, the Avada theme is the number one best-selling theme over at ThemeForce. Yet every time I go online to find a review about Avada, the, the blog posts are pretty old. You know, they're like 2019, 2018. So today I'll give you guys a current review on the Avada theme. What I think about it, what I use it, what I recommend it. I'll talk all about that today in this video. And as you guys know, me and Jeff, we uh, we dig through the trenches, you know, we buy the theme, we test the ins and outs, and then we, uh, you know, give our review and our opinion about it. So in this video, I'll give you guys my honest review about the Avada theme. Now I'll be reviewing the Avada theme on a few different factors. Number one is my first experience. So my first impressions upon using the theme. Number two, the theme customizer. And lastly, number three is the page builder. When you first purchase and download the Avada theme, you'll get a zip file. You'll need to make sure that you extract the Avada zip file located within the zip file. You'll first be prompted to enter your license code in order to activate the Avada theme. Before you get started, you'll be required to install the necessary plugins. There are only two plugins that you'll need to make this theme functional. After this, you'll be prompted with a setup wizard. Here you can choose from a pre-made template or build a website from scratch. Now, usually in all my videos, I always recommend to start with a demo website. However, with the Avada theme, I recommend starting from scratch and I'll explain why later. Once you select start from scratch, you'll be prompted to select a color palette. Here you can adjust the specific colors of your website. I feel like they don't need to add this step because you really can't see what you're working on visually yet. Next, you can then select your topography. They give you a few options on fonts. However, they don't tell you the name of the fonts. And again, I think this part could be better presented. Next, you're presented with website layouts. Here you'll be prompted to select a header, a footer, and a logo. You simply click on the header and then you can select from a list of pre-made headers. You also have the same option for the footer layouts. However, I don't think the theme should prompt you to start building the website from scratch by first creating headers. That's usually not how the web design process works. The first part of the website people usually create is the landing page. There was also these options here to invert the colors and styles, which again, I think is just a bit unnecessary. The next section you can pick from a pre-made template. Here we have selected the home page and the contact page. Then I'll click on complete setup. Then the website will create the pages, the menu, and add the styling options to your website. Here you can see the website and how the colors and fonts were applied. Going back to the theme customizer, you're presented with the list of options, the studio, which are layouts, maintenance, and other various options. The option tab is referring to the theme customizer. Here you can access various options in the theme customizer. Next, we have the websites tab, which is referring to the templates. Here you can import a pre-made template that was created from Avada. Next is the studio. Here you can import specific sections onto your websites. The next section is maintenance. Here you have options about your service settings, plugins, and other performance options. I would give the first impressions a four out of five. I like how they gave you a setup wizard. I just didn't like how they gave you styling options that you can't see yet. Next, let's talk about the theme customizer. The theme customizer options are pretty basic. You can adjust the page layouts, the color scheme, add in your logo, social media links, and so on and so forth. Theme customizers today are getting a little outdated because the page builders do majority of the work now. First, let's talk about the layouts tab. The layouts tab is actually referring to the Avada theme builder. Now, earlier in the video, I recommended you guys not to use a pre-made template, and this is why. If you import a pre-made template, the template will auto-propagate the theme builder settings with tons of different conditions and different page options for a variety of pages you did not create. When I first imported a template, I was very confused on what parts of the website were using specific conditions in the theme builder. However, I do like the theme builder. The theme builder is pretty simple. You can pick from a global header, install the global header. Once you do that, you can style it, then you save the changes and this will be your new global header. You can do the same process with footers. You can also create custom footers using the theme builder. I actually do like the Avada theme builder. You can actually set conditions pretty easily. The interface is simple and I do like how it takes a little time to get used to, but it's definitely not bad at all. However, I would rename this section the theme builder section because many users don't know this is the theme builder. The layout builder is a generic term they use and I think most users today use the term theme builder to design different parts of your website. Here are some other options. The off canvas menu section allows you to create pop-ups and sliding bars for your websites. The icon section allows you to upload custom icons onto your WordPress website. The next tab is the forms. With the forms tab, you can create custom forms using the Avada builder. 
I like how they do have specific elements you can pick and custom build your contact form from scratch. It does take time to get used to, but you have all the options at your disposal. Probably the biggest disappointment in the theme customizer settings was the Avada slider. It took me about 20 minutes to realize you have to build sliders from the back end. When you first create a slider, you're brought to the back end. And at first I thought this was maybe special options or even special effects, but no, this is the actual builder itself. This is where you build sliders. I really tried to give this slider a chance. I went to the documentation and I even watched a YouTube video on how to use this slider. Most of the comments were users being very frustrated with the Avada slider. And even myself, I decided not to use the Avada slider and I wouldn't recommend it. One of the biggest pluses is the theme customizer is available on the front end so you can adjust the website visually, which is helpful. Many of the themes on ThemeForest don't offer that. However, I do believe there are just too many options. A lot of these options are actually referring to designing parts of the website, which the page builder already has control of. I would give the theme customizer a solid three out of five. The theme options are a little scattered. The Avada theme really needs to work on making this just a little bit more simplified. I did love the theme builder for this theme. However, I did not like the fact that there are ads located in your dashboard where they are trying to upsell you additional services or the fact that the slider has a backend design, which you really can't see what you're doing. Next, let's talk about the Avada Builder. The Avada theme comes with its own builder. I do believe it used to be called the Fusion Builder, so it seems they rebranded it. The Avada Builder definitely has a learning curve, but it is doable. One thing I did like about the Avada Builder is that it's very quick and it feels very stable. You start by adding in the container. You select from a number of rows and then you can add elements inside of the container. If you want to add another element, you click on the plus element. From here, you can select additional elements. If you want to adjust the elements inside of the rows, they have three different tabs. The general tab, which controls the alignments, the design tab, which adds color, and the extra tab, which is just kind of like animation. If you want to add additional rows below what you're working on, you'll click on the plus row icon at the top right. And this is how you add rows to build the next section. Then if you want to clear the layout at the top left, you'll click on clear layout and start all over again. You can also import pre-made templates from the previous pre-made starter website section and work off a template instead of building it from scratch. The overall building experience does have a learning curve. It does take time to find out how to add columns and elements. So after using this builder for about a week, you might get it down. Now I've used a lot of page builders. So there are some things here I really want to critique about this builder. With other builders like Divi and Elementor, the options stay the same. You always have the same general tab, design tab, and the advanced options, and these options stay the same in order to design any elements. For example, with Elementor, every element has the same exact options, making it easy to understand how to customize and design them. The same thing goes with Divi. Divi has the same styling options for all the elements, making it easy to understand how to design all the elements. However, with Avada, that's not the case. Half the elements have different styling options, which can make the user have to constantly learn every element, which is extremely overwhelming. For example, the text module has the general tab, the design tab, and the extras tab. However, the counter circles has completely different options. They don't have any tabs. And when you click on it, they just add all the sections in one column. It seems like half the modules here are using different styling options and the other half are using other styling options. Another drawback is you cannot adjust the padding like other builders like Divi or Brizzy. And the last drawback is the containers. With builders like Divi, you have a container, and then you have a row within that container. They simplify this by giving them different colors so you know which one is what. The Avada theme does not have that. All the section pluses are blue, which can be very frustrating to decide what's inside the container or what's not. The builder itself is sturdy, but I feel like this is fractured and it was two developers that just couldn't agree on what to do. I also don't like the drag and drop aspect of Avada. I feel like the drag and drop builder is just a little clunky and at times it doesn't let me do what I want. I personally just don't like the builder. The builder itself is sturdy and I do like that. However, I do feel like this is sort of fractured and it seems like it was two developers that just couldn't agree on what to do. I would give the Avada builder a solid three out of five. The code quality, the speed, and the reliability of this builder is pretty good. It's just going in a direction that's hard to understand how to use this builder and at times it can be downright frustrating. Now let me give you my general opinion. After I use this theme for a full day, I can say this definitely has a massive learning curve, much more than I anticipated. The Avada theme has more than 810,000 sales on ThemeForce. However, there's only about 730,000 websites using the Avada theme. This usually means many of the users who use the Avada theme tend not to use it again. The Flotsam theme has around 195,000 sales. However, it's used on more than 600,000 websites. 
It has almost three times more installs than sales, which means users use it and then recommend it to their friends or use it on additional websites. The data shows that many people might be marketed to buy the Avada theme, but many don't stick around to keep it. I feel almost as if the Avada theme is developed by two different developers and they can't agree on what to do. The theme development feels very scrambled on what to focus on with this WordPress theme. Parts of the Avada theme feel somewhat modern and up to date, while other parts of the Avada theme looks like they were made 10 years ago. The backend slider for Avada just leaves customers frustrated and appears Avada is really not developing it anymore. Also, the Avada library has had the same templates it had when it first got started and has not been updated either. To be quite frank, the Avada builder just needs to be more intuitive. It's very hard to understand where to go sometimes and the control options are very awkward compared to other page builders. They also need to distinct the difference between rows and columns like the Divi theme instead of having a pile of pluses everywhere which can be quite confusing. I do think the Avada theme has massive potential. The code quality is very good, but I would highly recommend that the developers start listening to feedback. However, regardless of my criticism, I do like the fact the company has a YouTube channel and they're continually offering tutorials for their product. I also do like the fact the company has a history of good support and the theme itself is pretty well coded. I also went through the changelog documentation and noticed the developers continually provide updates for their product. I didn't really feel any glitches or any problems when using the builder. My overall score? I would give this theme a solid 2.5 out of 5. I would argue the theme itself is stable with good development, just not always in the right direction. So there is my honest review on the Avada theme. You know, I do give Avada a lot of props for actually creating their own builder. I do like that. A lot of the other generic WordPress themes, they rely on other page builders to make their theme functional. So I do give Avada props for actually creating their own builder. Would I recommend this? Would I recommend this to my friends or people on YouTube? No, I, I wouldn't. After using Elementor, Divi, and Brizzy, and then I go back to Avada, it feels like it's a setback, you know, it feels like it's harder to make websites. I feel like Vada has a lot of potential. I feel like if they were to clean up a lot of the options, um, change some stuff around, make the builder a little bit more fluid, I think that'd be on the right direction. But when I use the builder, I just had nothing but frustrations. And that's my honest opinion about the Vada theme. And there's no hard feelings between me and Avada. You know, I do admire them as developers and they're innovative. I just don't like what they've created. And I think a lot of people, when they download products or try them, they might not like them either. And that's just my honest opinion about the Avada theme. But don't worry about my opinion. What did you guys think about Avada? Have you guys used it? Do you like the Avada theme? Have you tried it on clients' websites? Let me know what you guys think about the Avada theme in the comments below. My name is Daryl Wilson. This is my partner, Jeff. And we will see all of you guys in the next video. Take care.